I'm Scott Euknis for Climate Impact Company. The ENSO system is a bit of a mystery. We had a strong El Nino develop in 2015, which ended in early 2016. It was the third strongest El Nino on record. Since that time, ENSO has been a bit of a mystery. We had a weak La Nina occur last year, and this year the trend has been towards El Nino. The dynamic models were forecasting the return of a moderate strength El Nino the second half of 2017, just a few months ago. But since that time, we've backed off that strong El Nino forecast, and ENSO right now is in the neutral phase. But wait a minute, it's a little bit more complicated than that. The multivariate ENSO index, which measures the atmospheric reaction to ENSO, is showing the presence of a moderate El Nino climate globally right now, despite the lack of formal presence of an El Nino. We've seen examples of this El Nino-like climate over the first part of 2017. For instance, heavy flooding over the northwest portion of South America, the strongest since 1997, and that's a classic example of an El Nino climate. More recently, the dryness has set in over the northern portion of the United States, also an example of an El Nino climate. Will this pattern continue over the next three to six months? The sea surface temperature anomaly forecasts are not forecasting a formal El Nino, but the tropics are very warm outside of the eastern Pacific. So our feeling is that an El Nino-like climate will continue over the next three to six months.